Hello and welcome to episode 19 in our JRPG series. In previous episodes we've been setting up our attacks and magic spells. In this episode we're going to add some nice special effects to this by making it make sounds and music for our game. This helps sell the idea of combat and sell the idea of magic to the player more easily. So let's get started. So in our sound folder you'll find a variety of different sound effects and music that we'll be using for our game here. So first of all let's start with music. Music has got two parts to it. We've got the intro which then will go into the loop. So for this we need to make a queue. So I'm going to right click and go down to sounds and create a sound queue. And we'll call this one uh, battle music queue. And go into there. Inside our queue, we're going to drag in our sound wave player. And on this one, we're going to choose the intro. And on another one, and that one's going to have the loop. And with the loop one, we're going to tick the looping tick box. Next, we want to take is the concatenator, which will basically play them sequentially. So it'll do the intro and then it'll do the loop where it'll get stuck and just loop that part. And the output will go into the output node. Save, and that's pretty good. So here you've got some basic settings. So if you want to change this volume of it, you can do just change this value down or up, however you wish. We'll leave it like that for now and close this. Now this music is going to play on the game mode. So let's go to our battle game mode and go to the begin play event in here. So here's the begin play event. At the end here, we're going to do play sound 2D. And 2D means it's going to basically play it uh, until you can hear it no matter where you are in the level. It's basically UI sound. So we're going to play sound 2D and we're going to choose our battle music cue from there. And yeah, I think that's it. Cool. Hit compile and save that. So now if I go play the game, the match will begin and we should get the music. Okay. So here we are into our game. So there we go. We've got some music in there. Might be a bit too loud. Let's turn it down a little bit, I think. Um, so I'm going to go to sound here, battle music Q, and the volume multiplier I'm going to do at 0 0.5. Just bring it down a little bit. Okay, so that's done now for the music. We now got all these sound effects to add to our various if, um, abilities and attacks. So let's go down to abilities. So I'm going to go into my abilities folder and go to magic base. In magic base, we're going to add a variable to this. And this variable is going to be the sound. So we can call this one ability sound effect. And the type for this will be a sound. And it is a sound wave. Compile. And on begin play in our magic base, we're going to drag this sound effect out and then tell it to play sound 2D. Hit compile and save that. Then I want to close that and I want to go through each of my spells and set that on each one. So let's go to white magic here and there's cure rank one. Open this up and I could set the sound it's going to use here. I'm going to look for the heal and it is here. And I'm going to do it to the others and the black magic ones. Fire. I'll save that one. Ice. I'll save there. And finally, Thunder. Packed. Oh. And done. So there are all our sounds for our ability set up. And that means when they are fired and they hit the target, they're going to play their sound effect. But we've also got other sounds. We've also got the casting sound as well. And that is played on the actual montages. 
So let's go into our characters here, and I'm just going to search for in here magic cast. And there are my three montages for this. So I'm going to go to Greystone first, and I'm going to go to when he is casting, which is about here. And we're going to right click here, add notify, and do play sound. In here, I can choose now my cast sound effect. And I'll do that for each one. Gideon, find the point where you want it to start doing the sound effect, which is about there. Add another track to this. And choose our cast there. And finally, Faye. Here, um, oh, sorry, add a new track and add a sound. And we're going to go in here and add the cast, save, and we can close that. So, next, we need to add the attack uh, for the primary attack sound effects. So, we go to the character folder again and we're going to search for primary attack. There are my three heroes. I'm going to go to each one and set up the attack sound here. Go along here, add notify, play sound. On here, I'm going to do the sound for Greystones attack. There. And save that one. Go to Gideon. And we go to there and notify a sound. We'll search for Gideon and it will be at the bottom again. Yep. And finally, if I <clears throat> find a point, right click, add notify, play sound. And we're going to choose Fay Attack. Okay, but they're not the only characters in our game. We've also got the spider. Let's go over to the spider character in the enemies folder. Go to the enemy great spider, the animations, and find the attack. Okay, so there's the attack. I'm going to go along here and add another track to this. Right click. Add notify, play sound, and we're going to search for our spider attack sound effect. There we have it. So that is all that set up. So let's test all these in our game. Let's hit play and take a listen. So very happy with that. The one thing I want to do before we wrap it up is fix the healing issue we saw. 
where if he was to heal one of our uh, friendly targets, he would end his turn looking at that target, which actually would cause problems later on. We don't want him to do that. So what we're going to do is go to our combat component and go to the white magic cast event and go to where we are setting the rotation at the end to focus on an actor. So rather than setting the focus to an actor in this case, we're going to change the focus to the focal point. So from the AI controller, set focal point. And the focal point is going to be on success here. And rather than using the unit target, we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to take the starting rotation and get the forward vector of this. And we're going to add that to the location that we start off with as well. Basically, it's looking just literally just only a little bit ahead of where it started out as. And we put that into there. But now, when we do the cast, we no longer end looking at a character. Instead, just looking forwards. There we go. There we go. You got him turning around and looking the correct way. And there we have it, the end of episode 19. We have now got sound in our game and our attacks are looking so much better. In the next episode, we're going to work on creating a stunned status for our enemy characters so that when they have taken too much damage and they're near death, they're going to look stunned. So you can join us on our next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can catch all my videos early before anyone else. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons, YouTube members and everyone else supporting me. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.